Hi everyone, welcome back to Live in the Net. Well, COVID-19 pandemic has been disrupting travel plans globally. That's quite irritating for travel lovers like me. Still amid the pandemic, staycation or exploring foreign culture right at your own residence has risen as a new trend of domestic tourism. The show today will recommend really fascinating experiences of Japanese culture right in Da Nang. And I'm pretty sure the Japanese culture lovers should not miss. Let's discover a day trip at Mikazuki Da Nang with our beautiful host, V. Hello everybody, this is B and I'm very grateful to be on this show again, Living Danang. You are now watching Danang Story. As we carry on showing you the latest experts in Danang City, we are also happy to suggest a beautiful place to try on in this beautiful coastal city. And today, we will discover a little Japan within Danang. Talking about Japan, everyone would think of samurai, sushi, or cherry blossom, but there are more to discover and that's what we do today. And I'm really, really glad to introduce a great friend from Japan who will accompany us with us. Hello, everybody. My name is Taichi. I'm from Tokyo, Japan. So I'm, I've been uh, living in Da Nang for three years. I really love the Vietnamese culture and the Da Nang people. I've, I've been working for the media team say, called Sunlight Da Nang. We introducing the Vietnamese like, culture and Da Nang people to the Japanese tourists by using their media, YouTube, Instagram. So I'm really excited for visiting today. So let's welcome Taiki-san. Hello. Hello Taiki, how are you doing? Really good. Really good? Yep. So how did you enjoy the Lunar New Year back then? Wow, that's amazing experience in here. Okay, yep. great. So today we want to bring you to your homeland, hopefully Japan. Okay. I so see. what do you think when you see the decoration so far? Actually, it's really amazing. The feeling, uh, I mean, in Japan. Okay. Yep. So today, what we would do, mm -hmm. we just go around and discover the cool experiences here at Mikazuki Danang. Okay. And we just hope that you can enjoy your time here. And also, yep. we can't wait to hear your interesting stories of Japanese culture from your perspective. Yeah, so, you ready for this? Absolutely. Let's get started. Let it. To fully enjoy the Japanese experiences here, V and Taiki have chosen yukata, which is a casual version of the kimono, the well-known traditional clothes of Japan for both genders, with simple design and soft fabric just like cotton. Yukata is mostly worn in casual settings such as summer festivals and to nearby bath houses. Let's see which design V and Taiki would go for their yukatas. Wow, Taki-san, so now we have been changed to um, traditional clothes of yes. Japanese culture, right? We yep. saw yukata. Yukata, that's right. Cool, and instead of a very Japanese space like this, I'm really, really excited to try on a very super Japanese experience. Yes, sir. You see the water, have a guess. Yeah. What will we try? Onsen. Onsen, how yeah. do you pronounce it? We, we say onsen in Japanese. Onsen. That's right. Onsen, that's yeah. how we pronounce it. Okay, yeah. so we're gonna have a try and see how beautiful it is. Okay, yeah. 
But you know what, for Vietnamese people, we are not really familiar to this term. Mm -hmm. So what is onsen, to be fair? Yeah, onsen is a traditional Japanese like a bath, bath. like huge bath. Okay. We use it for the treatment. Mm -hmm. uh, for Yonsen, you have a lot of benefits to offer in terms yeah. of health and beauty, right? Exactly. I just wonder, how hot is the water? Should we check it out? Yeah, we can check it. Yeah? yeah. Like water what do you temperature. Think? What do you think? Mm, it's warm. It's oh, good yeah. warm. It was not as hot as I thought, you know? Yep. It was, it was good, I think. Mm -hmm. So, you think how long should we stay in Yonsen usually? For the actual whatever you want. But for what, Vietnamese people, want? it's not really popular. Yes. They're taking a bath longer. Okay. All right. But for the Japanese, we share outside. Okay. We also have the onsen in inside. Oh, the private areas. Yeah, the private area. So this is outdoor, and you have the indoor space. Exactly. Oh, I see. And then this time, the, this place is like common area for men and women. All right. Yeah, both can take it. And there is like a whole men's okay. area. Oh, sure. So we use actually whole day spending your onsen sometimes. Wow. You know, I heard a stories when you mentioned your onsen yeah. before. I did know the stories about samurai. Back okay. then, long times ago, mm -hmm. the samurai would bask in the onsen for mm -hmm. days or for hours <laughs> to heal their wound, right? After yeah. the battle. Was it's, it correct? Exactly. Yeah, like I don't it. think it's just the pole tales. It's yeah. true. It's what I really want to try out. And also, mm -hmm. um, how about you? Mm -hmm. Back there in Japan, yeah. how often? Did you take onsen? I actually like for the taking the bath mm. every day. In a single Japanese house, we wow. have a big bath. Oh, I see. But for the onsen, we have a specific place. Okay. Like onsen spa or onsen hotels. Oh, so there are offers lots of Skype accommodations. Yep. To suit your need. Okay. Yep. Would you prefer public or private bath? For the public, like our, the different style, we actually prefer is uh, outside. Okay. Under the sunshine. Oh. Or nighttime is like stars, and some place is uh, winter snowing. Look kind of romantic. Yeah. And, okay, I really hope that we can enjoy style. that kind of experiences mm -hmm. right now at Mikazuki. Yep. Onsen is a basing therapy of Japan, a country flat with plenty of hot springs in volcanic areas. It is said that basing just once in this hot spring will clear your skin, and continue basing will cure all of your arches and pains. Achieving such positive results without exception from long ago, people call it the water of the gods. Research also proved that the geothermal heat minerals and all the elements of onsen truly benefit your health, relieve stress, cure your argus, offer anti-aging effect, and improve sleep quality. Onsen, therefore, has become a routine of Japanese people. In the journey of exploring Japanese culture, we should not miss the cuisine. Globally well known not only by the delicacies and sophistication in decor, the beauty of Japanese food comes from the soft and light taste. The Japanese don't over rely on the spice yet highlight the natural taste and freshness of each ingredient. Of all, sushi is regarded as the national food along with other familiar dishes, namely sashimi, udon, and ramen. So how was the taste of Japanese food? Well, um, to be fair, this is not the first time I try Japanese food, mm -hmm. but I love every mouthful of this. It's really, it's good taste to me, okay. as a Vietnamese. I okay. mean, I'm not sure this is authentic Japanese flavor, mm -hmm. but for Vietnamese like this, I, I love the flavor. Yeah, especially the the sashimi, very fresh. Yeah. So, would these food somehow remind you of your homeland? Yeah, actually yes, but this is a more modern style, like modern, like international style. We we didn't have the dragon roll right. in my country, but the, after international sushi became a famous. It is. Yeah, we also have the roll yeah. sushi. You just like, but to be fair, like when 
Japanese food go global and when it becomes so popular in Vietnam or any other country, it somehow yeah. diversifies your cuisine and it just makes it in a better way. Exactly. It's really nice. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. So, go ahead, enjoy your meal. Thank you. Thank you. Shadow is the tea culture of Japan, dated back to the end of 12th century. A little cup of tea relaxes the soul of Japanese people. Tea and shadow could lead people to find their true self, immerse in the nature and rich serenity. Japan is also renowned for matcha, the pure green tea powder made by Buddhist monks and used in shadow and religious rituals. How's that? Really good. It's really good. I love the flavor. Talking about Japanese culture, mm -hmm. we're not going to miss out yeah. tea, chado, right? Yeah. So now we're in such a very cool space, uh, like Japan, just like Japan, and we're having a really nice tea. You have taste the tea, so can you tell what flavor we're having? We are enjoying the matcha. The matcha? Yep. It's just matcha. I think there's something else in this as well. Oh, this one is like a matcha latte. Matcha latte. latte. Wow, so it's With like cream. a... It's not something really traditional, I would say. You got the matcha, but mm. still, it's the way they make it, like, more modern way. Exactly, like. Yeah, it suits our taste more, I think. Yeah. But why is matcha, to be fair? It's matcha, is like we use the green tea, and we grain as a okay. powder. Okay. So we can enjoy the whole flavor of the tea leaves. I see, I And see. it's also like we can taste, and it's good for the health. It's good for your house as well. Because wow. you drink completely the tea. And also that this place brought the matcha powder from Japan. Wow. So you All can enjoy the, the really Japanese flavor. You know what I noticed just now? Mm -hmm. uh, when you say something about benefits to your house, right? Yep. I have it and I can feel the balance in flavor. Mm -hmm. And also I can find the peace in mind as well. <sighs> it's a good combo, you know? It's a tea, it's yeah. the ambience, yeah. the music, yeah. also the people you're talking with. <laughs> so it's making me feel like Zen. May you explain yeah. further what's Zen in Japanese uh, culture? Like a re relaxing the feeling. We can listen to sound, we can smell the flavor, and now we can feel our heart wow. beating. Yeah. Uh, we can enjoy the chatting together. Oh, I see. Yeah. So that's the whole point of mm. shadow, like you mentioned earlier. You're having tea and you have a conversation. Mm. And relax. Yeah. Cool. Enjoy Good your feel. tea. Here, it's so good, right? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. A day trip at Mikazuki Danang hopefully will show you all a little Japan in Danang via the outfit, cuisine, tea ceremonies and onsen which are proudly reserved and valued by Japanese people for generations. the whole experiences today yeah actually like I was really enjoying this place yeah especially like onsen yeah yeah I can really find that's onsen in Danang because I know living in Danang I, see, I miss I see. the onsen part oh wow so yeah. it somehow brings you back to Japan exactly the way that experience exactly right? yeah. once again Taiki thank you very much for joining the show we really hope that you have great time at Mikazuki Danang and also, we really expect the day trip at Mikazuki Danang would diversify your knowledge of Japanese culture. Thank you very much for watching the show, and we will see you again on the next episodes of Live in Danang. So, how are we going to say goodbye in Japanese? Okay, we can say sayonara. Sayonara. Okay. So, sayonara! sayonara.